In a thrilling clash at the London Stadium, Chelsea showcased their attacking prowess with a commanding 3-0 victory over West Ham. The match marked yet another away triumph for the Blues, reflecting the positive direction under manager Enzo Maresca. Fans in the stands, including co-owners Todd Bowley and Velda Degbali, reveled in the display, signaling a sense of harmony at Stamford Bridge after a tumultuous period. From the outset, Chelsea looked confident and organized. Nicholas Jackson was the star of the show, finding the net twice within the first 20 minutes. His first goal came from a quick free kick executed by Jaro Sancho, who sent Jackson racing past West Ham's defense, showcasing the Hammers' defensive frailty. The simplicity of the goal drew immediate frustration from West Ham's new manager, Julie Lopetegui, who recognized the glaring gaps in his team's structure. Jackson, appearing revitalized, quickly established himself as a key asset for Chelsea, while Sancho's early contribution hinted at his potential impact following his loan move from Manchester United. Chelsea's second goal followed soon after, with Jackson deftly finishing a slick move, demonstrating his growing confidence. Moises Caicedo played a crucial role in setting up this goal, threading an incisive pass through the heart of West Ham's defence. Chelsea's forward play was a joy to watch, and Mereska was quick to commend both Jackson and Cole Palmer for their off-the-ball movement and finishing skills. As the match progressed, the frustration only mounted for West Ham, who struggled to create meaningful opportunities. They found themselves on the back foot as Chelsea continued to press. The home crowd's disappointment was palpable, with boos ringing out as they saw their team fail to mount a serious challenge. West Ham's captain, Gerard Bowen, candidly admitted the team, was never in the game, reflecting the overall sentiment that this was a day to forget for the Hammers. Despite the scoreline, Lopetegui urged his players to take responsibility for the defeat. He acknowledged the urgent need for improvement, particularly in defensive organization. After conceding early, the team's confidence seemed to wane, and their inability to regroup was evident. We have to defend much better, he emphasized, clearly aware of the tactical adjustments needed moving forward. The second half saw Chelsea continue to dominate, with Cole Palmer adding a third goal shortly after the restart. His composure in front of goal highlighted Chelsea's attacking depth. Although Chelsea's defense still showed signs of vulnerability, especially when caught on the counter, they managed to control the tempo of the game effectively. Mereska, while pleased with the win, reminded everyone that there is still room for improvement, especially in defensive solidity. So, Chelsea's emphatic victory at West Ham not only marks a significant win in their Premier League campaign but also raises questions about the future for Lopetegui and his side, who face an uphill battle to regain the faith of their supporters. For Chelsea, this performance serves as a promising sign of their resurgence, and as they continue to build momentum, the focus will be on maintaining this form in the weeks to come. As both teams prepare for their upcoming fixtures, the spotlight will undoubtedly be on West Ham as they seek to bounce back from this disappointing setback. Stay subscribed for more videos.